it's really hard i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna sugarcoat that but you can do it and it's possible not everything's positive not every day is positive there's good and bad days be patient to yourself and be kind to yourself um like i said there's good and bad days um but you'll get through it everybody has good and bad days some days you're gonna feel like oh my gosh i got this i'm getting everything together everything's clicking i got it whoa and it feels amazing other days not so much you feel like you suck you feel like you're not doing it right you feel like what am i doing you're just lost and that's okay too hello everybody welcome back or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is celeste i am a nurse i have been a nurse for about almost two years coming in on july so um i just wanted to share some of my tips and my experience as being a new nurse in the hospital setting i have been working on a med search floor it's technically we're split into medical and surgical but you know as we all know a med search floor so let's get started guys all I want to say is that if you are a nurse now or you're pursuing it and you're in the middle of nursing school, just keep going, keep pushing. I know it's hard, it's difficult, and it feels like it's never ending and it just feels like you're not going to make it. Like, am I going to pass this test? Am I going to be able to survive one more day of, of work? You know, it's a lot, it's stressful, and I feel for you because I've been there. Um, but honestly, it's just one day at a time. And I know that sounds so cliche and everybody says one day at a time, but it's the truth. You can only do so much and it's better to just think of the day and not what's tomorrow to bring, you know? Just think of the one day at a time. And honestly, being a new nurse is really hard because you have just graduated nursing school and you literally know nothing. Like you went to school for four years, you know, but you get into the working field and you're like, wow, you do know stuff. But honestly, it's like if you don't know anything because you're learning everything and it's overwhelming. There's a lot of new information coming at you, new work, new people, new everything you know learning what it is that your role entails as a new nurse and it's really hard i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna sugarcoat that but you can do it and it's possible everybody that's been a nurse has been able to do it and so can you um so yes i just want to shed light on positivity in this video obviously um not everything's positive, not every day is positive. There's good and bad days, but I wanna go ahead and just kind of give some tips and things that have worked out for me and as well as other nurses that I have um, heard give advice to other new nurses. So the first thing I would say is to make sure to prioritize yourself, um, self-care. And I know, I know, I know, I know, a lot of people say this but it's honestly so true the best thing you can do for yourself is to take care of yourself if you don't take care of yourself you're not going to provide the best care for your patients and honestly you became a nurse to take care of patients and provide the best care possible i know and i know from my heart that that is why we as nurses you know go into nursing to take care of others and it's crucial crucial take care of yourself um the biggest thing that i have seen is that new nurses tend to pick up extra shifts um get overtime pay which is all very nice because you get you know that extra money um but does it is that better you know sacrificing your health um your mental health as well for some extra money i honestly don't think so so set some boundaries for yourself um before someone even comes and asks you like hey can you pick up this day we are short you know it puts you on the spot have those boundaries already set um like i when i started i told myself one i'm never picking up i don't want to say never but i'm not picking up extra shifts in that first year and i'm not going to stay over time i'm not going to stay two hours over um 
and I told that to myself and that was a goal of mine because I did not want to be burnt out within the first year. I didn't want to hate my job right away um, just from over burning myself out, you know. Those were my goals and honestly when it did come down to people asking managers, coworkers if I could, you know, pick up an extra day. I had already set those boundaries in myself and those goals that I was able to say, no, I can't. And it's especially hard if you're a people pleaser because you you have a hard time saying no. Um, but that's the number one thing I can tell you. Um, I never did pick up any extra shifts. To this day, I still have never worked an extra shift. I just work my three days a week and I don't stay over, I've never stayed over. And honestly, it's been amazing just because already with those three days that I work, I feel so exhausted and so just tired from the day. And it's a lot, it really is a lot. So doing extra that you're not required to do, it's okay. I'm not saying don't ever pick up any extra days or any shifts, but just be mindful of what you're doing and taking care of yourself. I also want to say that getting enough sleep, just the basic things, getting enough sleep, eating healthy, healthy snacks at work, things that are not processed and, you know, um, more whole food will give you more energy throughout your shift and make you feel better and just overall you know, eating healthy, drinking water, those things are very important. I don't need to go into too much detail about it because I think we all know about that. Um, but also just like the shoes you wear um, and your scrubs, just making sure those are comfortable for you throughout um, your shift is honestly amazing. You don't wanna have shoes that are bugging you, giving you blisters all day. Um, because then you're thinking about that all day and it's a 12 hour day, it's a long day. So get some good comfortable shoes that are not gonna hurt your feet. And that's a struggle, I did struggle with that. I did have to go through a lot of shoes. Um, but I think asking a lot of questions when you're new is very helpful. I think that's the best way you're gonna learn. There's gonna be a lot of diseases, a lot of conditions, a lot of things that you do not know um, and ask those questions. Why are we giving this medication with this? I don't understand why we're doing this intervention. Um, those questions are only going to further your learning and they're only going to help you see the bigger picture within your patient. Um, if you don't ask those questions, you might just be lost in why are we doing this or what does the uh, care plan look like for this patient? Um, so honestly, really ask those questions because it really does help um, your, sorry, I'm saying uh so much. I'm gonna try not to say uh, <laughs> but um, here we go again. Questions, because that is the way that I found myself to learn the most. I started seeing patterns as well. You'll notice that with certain diagnosis, let's say a COPD exacerbation. Oh, okay, I see that when there's a patient that has a COPD exacerbation, they are usually are giving breathing treatments, they are given steroids, um, tend to have hypoxia, so they'll be having oxygen supplemented. Um, you know, those are the common COPD treatment line that you would see. And when you're new, you don't know that. So just asking those questions and, you know, you start to pick up, okay, with this disease, this is what I'm expected to see. Oxygen, breathing treatments, steroids, um, deep breathing and coughing. And then you really start grasping um, the disease process and how these interventions that you are implementing and um, putting to the patient how it's benefiting them and what you expect to see and what the outcome is for the patient that we are wanting. Um, it's really cool when you're able to put these pieces together and see the whole process because I know at first as a new nurse 
you have all these diseases and you have all these interventions but you don't necessarily know why you're doing them you're just kind of very task oriented i need to give this medication to this patient and i need to do this and i need to do that um but it will take time and that's okay over time you will start to put these things together and see patterns and see what treatments are used for what conditions diseases and it'll honestly start making more sense i also would say that you're not going to know everything even even me now or even experienced nurses don't know everything and it's okay to question things why are we giving this does this make sense for this because we are all human and doctors do make mistakes and do order wrong things for wrong patients I don't want to say that happens often because it does not. It's been very rare that I have seen it happen, but it does happen. And it's important to know as a nurse, um, hmm, this does not seem right um, and question it and ask some people around you, ask other nurses that are experienced. Does this make sense to you? Um, this is what the patient's here for. They ordered this, but, you know, get some feedback if they all agree that it doesn't seem right, then reach out to the doctor because the safety of your patient is super important. Um, so I would say, yes, use those people around you, make connections with others that you can trust, um, like having a mentor. My specific hospital didn't assign us mentors, but I did have people that I trusted and that were experienced and that I felt comfortable with asking questions and not feeling dumb because there's no such thing as dumb questions. We hear that a lot, but there really isn't. It's better to ask the question than to do something that's unsafe or something that would harm your patient. So yes, just ask the question, please. It's gonna be a lot of new things that you've never done before, or maybe you've only done it in nursing school on a mannequin, and it's gonna get to a time where you're gonna actually need to do it and I would say just do it. Obviously look over your procedure um, policies. If you need to look over like how to do the steps, have another nurse go in with you that's done it before, that's experienced. That way they can coach you through it. But you need to do it to learn. If you have someone put in all your IVs, how are you ever gonna get better? Um, so try the IV. You lose an IV, try it two times. You know, usually most policy is that you can try up to three three times three pokes and then um and then it's someone else needs to try so try it even if you are scared just do it i honestly um putting ivs was scary to me because i had never done it and i mean i mean all new nurses usually really have not done it you know unless you got a little bit of practice during clinicals but just do it um at first i wasn't very good at it i would get one here and there very randomly um but i just kept trying i was like well at least i'll try if i don't get it i'll have someone else come in i'll watch what they i'll watch how they do it and i'll ask them questions like watch their technique because everybody has a little bit different way that they do things and that's okay you can pick um different you can watch everyone how they do it and then you pick and choose what you like and how you're going to make it your way eventually i you know with all the practice of starting ivs and getting tips from others i was able to be successful in putting in ivs and now i honestly really enjoy it when i do have to put one it's exciting for me because i feel like i have been getting better at this skill a skill that i felt scared to do before but now i feel comfortable in doing and i feel comfortable showing other new nurses how like my way of how i like to do it and it's honestly amazing and now i have other people come to me like can you try to put this IV and I go in and put it in and it just feels so good but yes just do the scary things I know it's scary I know you don't want to do it but just do it it's the only way you're gonna learn and it's the only way you're gonna get better just by trial and error and that's what nursing is all about and that's what I really love about it that you're honestly always learning 
always, always learning. There's always new things that you see. And with all of that, I just want to say, like, be patient with yourself because it's going to take time. Nursing is not something that you go into and you're like, boom, 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 like good at everything. No, because there's so many skills. You know, there's assessment, there's giving meds, just your meds in general, um, uh, time management, and just so many components that you have and you're supposed to put them all together and you're not going to be good at all of it. You know, it's going to take time going to take patience it's going to take kindness it's going to take teaching and learning from others um so don't expect to feel like you have to know everything because you don't and so many other people also don't and it's just important to come together as a team work together and lean in on each other with those that have more experience to be able to help you and just mentor you so be patient to yourself and be kind to yourself. Um, like I said, there's good and bad days, um, but you'll get through it. Everybody has good and bad days. Some days you're gonna feel like, oh my gosh, I got this. I'm getting everything together. Everything is clicking. I got it. Whoa, and it feels amazing. Other days, not so much. You feel like you suck. You feel like you're not doing it right. You feel like, what am I doing? You're just lost and that's okay too, because you know what? You are learning. Yes, it's a sucky day. You don't feel like you're doing good, but honestly, it's experience. The experience you're going through is only gonna help you in new scenarios, new situations. You're gonna be like, ah, I've seen this before. Okay, I know what to do. I know what my resources are. And yes. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm just super passionate about it. Um, nursing is such an amazing thing and it honestly makes you see how your health is so important and you don't realize it when you have good health because you're able to move your body and walk around and you're you feel good you don't have any aches and pains but when you see sick patients and you see what they're going through and you've seen that wow they just retired and now they're wanting to live, you know, their retired life, be with family and grandkids and enjoy. And they're dealing with some heart diseases and conditions that, you know, maybe they're not able to move. Their breathing isn't, not, it's not doing well at all. Um, it just really makes you realize how important life is and how much you should treasure it thing I would say would be to um, have a little community of other new nurses that have started with you or have were hired in the same cohort as you and lean in on each other because sometimes those feelings you are feeling may feel like you're the only one feeling it but I'm pretty sure to you that 99% of the other people who started with you are feeling the same way and it's normal, it's stressful, you know, and that's to be expected. Um, but just reach out to those people who started with you um, and talk about your feelings. You know, sometimes it's good to compare and talk about just how you're feeling and it makes you feel better and like, wow, I'm not the only one. And we, I know we all feel like this, but we know that we are gonna continue to continue to learn and keep motivating and of bringing each other to get through this because um, one day you're going to be able to help those new nurses that are coming in and give them the support that they need because why you have the experience and you have gone through it and you know what it feels like um so yes guys that is all those are the tips and the things that i think are most important within that first year um Please let me know where you guys are at, if you're in nursing school or in nursing, working on the job now. Um, I would like to hear your guys' experience as a new grad nurse or just feelings about how it feels to start your job. Um, so yes, thank you guys for listening so much.